Let's move on now to Chapter 1, Section 2, Understanding the Layout of our Icons within the Easy 3D software, including Reset, Undo, Redo, as well as identifying inactive versus active buttons. Let's spend some time identifying the tools and functions of the 3D software itself. You note that there are icons displayed along the left-hand side of the screen, icons displayed along the top of the screen, which identify the most common features and functions of the 3D software itself. However, all of the features and functions are accessible with the drop-down menu by left-clicking on the menu option itself and then selecting your desired function. To identify an active versus inactive function, simply left-click and you note that particular function turns a dark gray as compared to the other functions themselves. To terminate a function can be performed in one of two ways. Position the mouse on top of the icon at the top that says select, left click, it will then terminate that particular function. You can also terminate a function such as zooming, as I have done here, by simply clicking on the escape key on your keyboard to terminate the function as well. As far as performing a function such as undo or redo, we'll use the sculpting tool here at the top of the screen. I'll left click and then through a series of left clicks I'm going to draw a shape, in this case here, around the mandible. I'll double click, left click to hide that area of anatomy, and if I choose to add that back in there again, okay, I can left click here on undo, with my anatomy back in there, left click on redo, and it hides it again. And if I wish to delete something, such as perhaps drawing this arrow and deleting that, left click on delete all, respond to this question by selecting yes to remove that arrow. In this next example, we're going to review the reset options, including reset NPR and reset all. In this example, I've gone ahead and i rotated these axis lines in various ways. I've added dimensions here, added a note, and at this point in time, what I want to do is reset my NPR view here to the point where I first came into the software and all of my axis lines are either parallel or perpendicular to one another. To do that, I navigate to the left-hand side, left-click on my toolbar options, identify the reset icon, left-click, and then reset NPR. This will then reset all my access lines to the point where I first came into the 3D software itself. However, at any point in time, if I decide to reset everything and go back to the very beginning, removing all of my notations, measurements, and any other treatment planning, I can left click on reset, navigate down, and then left click on reset all. The software then prompt you with a secondary question saying, are you sure you want to reset everything? Note, if you have not saved what you've done with a project name, selecting yes will remove everything you see in the background and there is no undo or reset available for this. It's also good to note though, however, there are no tools, features, or functions within the software that will allow you to make any permanent changes to this original data itself. So regardless of what function I perform, at any point in time if I decide that I want to either remove that function or perhaps I've gone in a direction with the treatment plan that I don't feel is successful, I can always restore back to the very beginning by going to reset, going down, and then left clicking on reset all.